here today to talk about the ESP Surgex Envision PCS diagnostic software. The first thing in using the software in order to set it up properly is to go to the setup button, hit that one more time till you get the com button to come up. When we hit that, we want to detect, and I won't do it now since I'm already set up, detect, it'll automatically detect the COM port. We want to configure and save that. And that'll allow us to properly connect uh, to the device with the proper interface cable. So once that is achieved, you'll have ac direct access to the unit and the diagnostic software. And what we're viewing now is the first tab, which is the multimeter tab, which gives you a graphical representation of all the parameters that the unit measures. So for example, uh, at the top we're measuring voltage, and if you hover over the particular parameter, it tells you what that is. This is line neutral AC RMS voltage. Uh, the next one is amperage, RMS load current, power in watts, neutral to ground voltage, line frequency, power factor, and crest factor. Uh, on the right hand side, this is a bar graph indicating the events that occurred and the percentage as they make up the particular uh, event quantities over the period of time that the unit has been hooked up. Uh, on the furthermost right hand side is the actual count. So at the top you have the count of the number of surges, the number of over voltage events that actually triggered a shutdown based on the user defined setting, the number of over voltage events that were triggered based on a record level, but not necessarily a shutdown level, also user defined. And the same holding true for under voltage events, both, both recorded and those events that actually turn the unit off based on the user defined threshold. And then finally at the bottom, the number of power outage events that occurred. You have the ability to clear those events with the push of a button. Also in the lower right hand corner here, you see the energy monitoring capabilities of the unit. The unit has the capability of monitoring the number of kilowatt hours used since the unit has been hooked up. You can input a user defined kilowatt hour rate so it will give you an associated cost of what the power has, the energy has cost uh, the user since its inception or hookup. Moving on to the next tab, this is the scope mode. Once you've entered the scope mode, the unit operates very similar to a digital handheld scope meter. And what you're seeing here on the screen is a live shot of the line voltage. So you could analyze the waveform to see if there are any abnormalities with the line voltage. You also have the ability to look at current draw and power uh, in live form. Right now I don't have any load attached to the unit, so it's basically flatlined. But you also have, as you do with a scope, the ability to change the divisions on the X and Y axis. And as you can see, there are also buttons here to operate it in a one-shot mode or wait mode, uh, as you would a normal handheld scope. Moving on to the next button, it's chart mode. In chart mode, you have access basically to all the parameters on the front multimeter page but in a graphical format, chart format. Basically what you're seeing here is a live representation of all those parameters, line voltage, load current, load power, neutral to ground voltage, line frequency, power factor, crest factor, and energy usage as they are occurring in one second intervals. And at the bottom here you can see there's a time scale and you have the option of changing the data sampling interval from one second all the way up to 60 seconds. And that can be important if you're going to be data sampling for a long period of time and having this attached to your PC or laptop it is going to consume a considerable amount of memory uh, based on your sampling rate and the amount of time you keep it attached. So keeping it attached for uh, a week at a time for example you might want to increase that sampling interval so it makes the data easy to analyze uh, once, you've, once you've finished your study. So in this case, putting it back to one, se to one second intervals, uh, it'll go back to a one second sampling rate. And then what you have the ability to do is, as long as this is running, it's going to collect data. And you can click on the save icon, it'll download in CSV format to your laptop or PC's desktop uh, that 
information that has been collected, again, in one second intervals for each of these parameters. So this can be an important troubleshooting tool for, you know, power anomalies that are difficult to ascertain uh, by gaining information uh, about each of these parameters, each of these metrics, while equipment is running and, and at rest, you can try to pinpoint where certain problems might be occurring and then uh, obtain a, a viable solution for, those, for, for the particular power issue that might be occurring. Moving on to the next tab, uh, basically this puts you in uh, instant communication with the outlets on the device. So I can immediately turn the, turn the outlets on or off, which in turn would turn the power to the device attached on or off. Uh, I can perform a power cycle, which basically would be a 90 second power cycle, turning the equipment off and back on again within 90 seconds. On the next tab, we have access to all the imported timestamp data. So once I import the timestamp data, for example, in graphical format, I can drill down by month, day, and on this particular day, for example, it gives me the time and date uh, and the type of event that occurred. So a turn on, a power outage, a turn off, and a surge occurred in, at these particular times on this particular day. Uh, on the 8th of May, I had one turn on event, and then there are no other events recorded on this particular device. Clicking on the next button, Import Historical Data, this basically gives me access to certain power metrics, certain, certain of the metrics in 30 minute intervals for each of the days that this device was attached and powered. So for example, in the month of May, on any particular day, we take the 12th, for example, in 30 minute intervals, I can see the average power consumed, the maximum power draw, the average recorded voltage, the maximum recorded voltage, minimum recorded voltage, and maximum recorded current. Uh, this can be important when you're trying to troubleshoot a particular problem, especially when equipment is running uh, and or at rest. You can see how the equipment was behaving during those time periods, and you can associate these types of readings with some of the power anomaly events that may have occurred. So just another way to troubleshoot, and again, you have the ability to save these, this information to, a, to your desktop uh, in CSV format. Uh, from, once this particular tab has been clicked on, you can also look at the information in graphical format, average power, average voltage, the max min graph, and as I hover over these uh, particular points, I can see the actual date and time stamp and the, re and the reading at that particular time. Moving on to the last tab, the settings tab, this is where you gain access to the setup of your Envision PCS. And basically you can set the clock, you can auto set the clock based on the uh, time and date of your PC or laptop. Once connected, uh, you can name the unit with a particular serial number or with a particular name based on, based on what you're connected to. And then on the right hand side you see here you have the ability to change the factory settings for the overvoltage shutdown level in one volt intervals, the overvoltage record level in one volt intervals, and the overvoltage restore level, which means if my device is set to turn off, if I see a sustained overvoltage at 150 volts, I want it to restore when the line voltage reaches a safe voltage of 140 volts. You have the ability to change that, either raise or lower that in one volt intervals. Same goes true, same holds true for the under voltage restore, record, and shutdown points. And then lastly, you have the ability to record overload events. So this is a amperage setting. So if my overload current reaches 25 amps, I'm going to trip a record point that you will see in the historical data and I can change that in one amp intervals. And that can be correlated to, to events that might have occurred, so it it's, gives you the flexibility to look at that in addition to the voltage threshold levels. One final thing, in the lower right hand corner you see the battery condition. Right now it's at 100%, 2.99 volts. Uh, these batteries in this device should be good when it's powered 
uh, for almost 10, 10 plus years. And that concludes our discussion today of the ESP Surgex Envision PCS diagnostic software. Thank you.